and welcome to my video it's Caroline it's very hot afternoon in um, New Zealand where I'm at right now I just wanted to share a little video of um, an idea that just came to me um, this afternoon uh, as you can see from all these little tabs up here I'm pretty much obsessed with Pinterest and Pinterest marketing and Pinterest affiliate marketing it's um really what I'm into at the moment so I'm going to share with you a quick tutorial it's a Canva tutorial of course because I love Canva as well um, and it's going to be all about using stock photos and um, if you if you like my video I um, invite you to um, subscribe to my channel and also if you're really serious about getting into business and affiliate marketing I also invite you to check out the link in the box down below all right let's get into it so stock photos is what I wanted to talk about here um, there's a whole bunch of different stock photos that I've got I'll just show you them oops I'm actually I'm just gonna get rid of that little toolbar as well um, so obviously they're very girly but that's because I'm a girl so uh, these were all free stock photos that I got from this website Wonderful. Um, I think that's how you say it but anyhow um, these free stock photos are basically a tripwire um, something that that she offers to get people into her sales funnel and um, they're free to use um, for your own uh, blogging and business and marketing purposes as long as you don't sell them or say that you made them and you can do with them what you please pretty much oh these ones here are different I got these off another website and I cannot for the life of me remember where I got them from so when I remember I will put the link in the video comments and as you can see they're all absolutely beautiful okay so um, they're absolutely beautiful what now now I found one that I really liked and now I've lost it. Uh, as you can see, um, one thing about stock photos is they quite often have a lot of this nice blank space and that's where you put your logo or you put your writing or anything you want. See, you can put writing here um, and then there's other ones that are a bit more um, filled up with objects. Put some writing here. Okay, I think it was this one that I was, no, oh, oh. I was oh, this is the one I was going to use, <laughs> I promise you I was really organised, okay, wonderful free stock five, okay, so I'm going to go to Canva, my favourite, favourite place, um, like I've said before, I know how to use um, Photoshop and Illustrator and Publisher and all these kind of things, but this is just so easy to use. Canva is super easy to use and I'm always really happy with the result. So I'm using custom dimensions and I'm going to create a pin, a Pinterest image, and I'm going to use 900 by 1800. So that's um, one to two. So it's going to be nice and long. You always want to go long with Pinterest images. And now I'm going to go and click on uploads. And I'm going to upload my own image. And hopefully I can find it nice and quickly. Usually I have everything in my downloads, but I actually went and um, organized things. Here we go. So it was number five they wanted to have a look at. Now as you can see, number five is a square, uh, which is not useful for Pinterest. It is useful if you're making an Instagram post or a social, some other social graphic. It's also really useful if you're making an Etsy cover. Where's the Etsy? It's in here somewhere. There's a logo. Logos tend to be square. CD covers are square. But Pinterest graphics are not. They need to be long. Um, the other thing about free stock photos is people, lots of people get them, lots of people have them, lots of people use them, but it's how you use them that makes them unique. And it's alright to use the same photos, you just use it differently. And um, 
you know, until you've m earned mega bucks, you have to kind of bootstrap it um, and use free stuff. And it's totally okay to use other people's style. The more you practice, the more you'll develop your own style. You're not expected to have your own style, you know, straight off the bat. Um, unless you're some kind of graphic designer, it's all right to practice. So as you can see, what I did is the image started nice and small, and I just um, I just stretched it out. And what I usually do is I just stretch it out until it's as long as my um, my template, and I can get multiple pins out of this one stock photo. So I can put it right to the side there, and there's one image that I can use. And then I can put the little clipboard in the middle. There's another image I can use. And I can put it to the side, and there's another image I can use. So I can actually get three really decent looking Pinterest images from this one stock photo. So it's all about how you, um, how you crop it up. I can even stretch it out even more and just use that clipboard right in the middle there. Use the clipboard because the gold is really pretty and then I can add a, a nice border because borders always look nice. So there we go, just put that border in there. Of course, I'm going to change the color, and I'm going to use my um, little what's it called eyedropper extension for Chrome, and I'm going to pick up that pink right there. See how it looks. Let's see if it makes a difference. I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it in there. Oh, and you can hardly see it. Let's have another go. That colour from page. I'm going to pick up the gold and copy that number. Click on there. Click on my frame. Not bad. Anyhow, I actually don't want my image to be that big. Oops. I need to send that back, but I don't seem to be able to do it. Okay, I'm getting rid of that. I'm going to make it smaller, and I'm going to turn it into a pin for an affiliate offer that I'm promoting at the moment. Like I said, I'm super obsessed with Pinterest. It's, a, um, it's something that I've used a lot, and I love using, and I've just... Um, found an awesome website that has um, amazing information for affiliate, Pinterest affiliate marketing <laughs> and it's really cool to get started um, if you don't have a website. So okay I was gonna use, um, oh and I'll come back to that, how to build a Pinterest marketing business, where am I? So I need to put some text on there. I'm going to put build a business on Pinterest. That sounds good. And like I said before, I could put the text down there. Let's, I'm going to put it up here. Build a business with Pinterest. I'm going to change the mm -mm. Mm, no. chewy, it always cracks me up a bit, don't know why, okay, now um, there are little smart guides, there you go, so that smart guide comes and it tells me it's in the middle, I'm going to go down a bit, put it right there, might actually make it a little bit bigger. I really just go with my gut. 
and because this is quite a light colored pin um, pins with lots of white space do do really well but it's just a wee bit light I'm gonna put a board around it because it's my style and I really original eh? add a border <laughs> but hey you know like you got to be proud of what you do okay very fussy okay I'm gonna pick up that pink again oh no it's really mm, no I'm going back to the pink what I'm gonna do is I'm picking up the pink and I'm gonna click on here again I oh, didn't do it oh that's still that color all right oh my goodness where did I get the blue from okay I'm trying to go fast now I'm gonna pick up that pink of the flower. I copied it. I'm gonna click that little plus. Ah, that's better. Beautiful. Build a business with Pinterest. Okay, I might add some little bullet points to that, but I might do that another time. Let's just see how this one goes. So I'm just gonna click on download and it's going to save and it's just going to jump down into my little download file and I'm going to click over here to Tailwind um, Tailwind is a scheduler for Pinterest and it I didn't think that I was I needed it but it's actually really amazing so I'm going to drag it up and I'm going to drop that file and there it goes and while that's dropping in there I'm going to pick up my affiliate link and now it's going to click over to the draft here it is I'm going to pop my affiliate link in there put the board name in online it's going nice and slow so I'm going to put it in three diff on three different boards I'm going to put it on an online business board I'm going to put it on a Pinterest board and I'm going to put it on a make money from home board. Boo! Hi darling. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to the computer. Why are you talking to the computer? Because I'm making a video. Pinterest tips and marketers and um, what was the other one? Make money from home. Now as you can see, um, there's a little orange box around it because I've already pinned this link before just with a different um, a different image. So I'm going to put my description in there and then I'm going to add it to the queue and it's going to go onto Pinterest. So since I've got a little friend with me and I've probably talked for too long, um, I'm going to say sayonara and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like my video and check out... Um, my links and there will be a link for Tailwind in there as well and you can get started for free. <laughs> Alright, see you.